Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to August the 28th. This is <laughs> Soft Tail Slim Day. There's nothing like waking up. It, it reminds me of being a kid when you wake up and you go, Oh my God, it's Christmas this morning. You go flying out. Your parents have done Christmas and everything. <laughs> I'm just being overly silly about this thing. Yeah, I just found out that it's supposed to be close to 100 again today. That's going to be real fun. Anyway, soft tail slim day. All right, so it's 12 noon, exactly. Probably a minute after now. But uh, Joey sent me this picture about an hour and a half ago. Heck yeah, that is my motorcycle. So we're going to take the last ride on the old Sportster 48. It's going to be a freeway ride. Temps are supposed to be about the same as yesterday, so man, let's quit talking. Let's get riding. Go top this thing off and head to Lacey, Washington. Alrighty. At the sad, sad last ride of the 48. I do like these 48s. If I was uh, independently wealthy, I'd have one of these along with everything else I think they're that cool all right let's head north so we sad you start going through this is the last time it'll be in Toledo this is the last time it's gonna get filled up with that super duper non-ethanol ethanol free petrol well I've entered uh, Tumwater Washington there's the Olympia Brewery right there. There's the Capitol Building, if you can make that out straight in front of me, slightly to the left. The, uh, now the speeds have subsided just a little bit. Now I'm just kind of keeping up with the faster traffic. Man. One thing sports are especially these ones with the, uh, with a 2.1 gallon tank, there's like no resistance up front. So when I joke with you guys about these things feel like a stingray bicycle going down the freeway. I'm not kidding. You have to hold on for dear life. Yeah, other than, uh, you know, feeling like there's a, uh, a parachute dragging behind me trying to pull me off the bike. Fantastic. Bike's great. It's smooth at 70, 80 miles an hour. It actually just floats. Just this soft little rumble, no vibrations. She just. But anyway, I'm just a few miles from taking my exit. We go take a look at and drive away on a brand new soft tail slim. I'm extremely excited. And there we are, north of Harley Davidson with Mount Rainier sitting straight in front of us. Well, 048, ever since these things were introduced, I've had the hots for them. I said to myself, self, one of these days, I'll have one in my possession. And I did. For one year and four days. Yep, a year and four days. I don't mind when I'm moving on to something I know I'm going to like a whole lot better. Not that I don't dislike the 48 in any way or even want to get rid of it, but that Harley buyback thing. Give you all your money back? You people crazy or what? I don't know where he's going to want this thing. So I guess I'll just land it over here. Let them decide where they want it. Buy 48. See police and then hear helicopters kind of concerns you just a little bit, doesn't it? Lacy police. All right. Here's Joey out here playing around with my new motorcycle. <laughs> Woo! That thing looks good. That looks real good. I have not seen one in denim black yet. Isn't that nice? Wow. Sexy. 
such a nice <laughs> an evil all wrapped up in a nice package. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's how my soft tail slim started out. Look what's hiding out here. Oh no. Look at that. <laughs> it's come that time. Alright, buddy. Is it time? It's time. It's time. It's time. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get on this side, that'd gotta, be cool. Gotta give her the old ringy dingy. Yep. Yeah. So again, Sean, it's been a pleasure working with you. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, we've done this a few times, yeah. so we're going to celebrate. Getting to be a habit. Her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and, uh, and ring our fireman's bell. Uh, of course, it's do donated to us by Lacey Fire Department. Oh, well, that's uh, to cool. Celebrate all white cells. Uh, but a cool part about the bell ringing. Uh, is a uh, proceeds a percentage of your bike sell will go back to them and they'll distribute to unfortunate families. Oh, well, that's so way cool. It's a special day you get in your bike, but you also it's gonna be somebody else's special day. Yeah, yeah. Way so, cool. Uh, I'm gonna stand back, <laughs> go ahead and grab the grab the the uh, the lanyard like this. Bam, bam, bam. We'll make a bunch of noise. All right. So again, Sean, on on behalf of myself. Northwest Harley Davidson and the Harley Davidson Motor Company. I'd like to present you and congratulate you with the keys to your brand new 2019 Softail Slim. Thank you very much. All right, buddy. Thanks, Joey. All right. Awesome. All right, it's gonna be loud. I hope this little DJI can handle that. Then you got the police kicking in. Keys on. Everybody ready? Thanks, Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Cool. Oh, <laughs> of course, we got That's... Lacey's finest just kind of hanging out as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> Here she is. First time sitting on the old gal. You gotta love the keyless ride, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, this thing's gorgeous. <clears throat> Sneak out that way. I don't back her into anything. Cool. Thanks, Joey. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> The uh, gentleman in the in the blue shirt that's uh Julio, he's the uh owner. Actually one I think there's it's co-owner. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. Super nice guy. <laughs> he's going to starting to be a habit. So I hope I got that bell that bell thing uh record. I was kinda holding the uh, Osmo over my shoulder. So I could shake hands and stuff, so I hope I got that. Oh god, this thing's nice. I forgot to put my glasses on. Almost forgot to turn the camera on. Oh yeah. Oh, it just has the coolest look while you're on it. Oh man. So I got a little back row thing. So I'll find a shade here somewhere. I need to grab my uh my ram mount and um phone and stuff and get a route going here so i'm sorry for the little impromptu it's probably going to disturb the view taking advantage of the usb port built into these there's that nice halo yeah buddy look at that that is one cool looking light this thing is gorgeous. Oh man. I am absolutely in love with this thing. I ain't even gone a mile on it. Never rode one, never sat on one. But you know, Harley's are kind of that way. You don't really need to. <laughs> oh man. Look at that bad boy. I love that satin finish. Man, as always, I just gotta throw this in here. I, I I don't get, you know, paid or any spiffs. There's no. It's just me talking to you. But uh, dealing with these guys, 
I mean, how often does the owner of the store come out and see you off? <laughs> like you said, he goes, this is getting to be a habit. Uh, Harleys are a habit. You just, you just love them. And once it's, once it's in your soul, you can't shag these things. So, uh, let me drive down the road here a little bit. I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm like overwhelmed with uh, all my senses. Man, are the brakes unbelievably touchy on this thing. I feel like I'm riding a sport bike. Oh man, this is wonderful. This is absolutely fantastic. Man, the floorboards are big enough. I can put the balls of my feet at the back of them and it literally feels like mid pegs. Oh. It just feels so solid and so flickable. It's like, dang, Harley. And I love that I can feel the bike. It's dual balancers now instead of the single like mine. Well, the singles are still in the touring. And then they, I don't know the purpose, but the soft tails all have this dual balance. A, uh, a different Milwaukee 8, but it's smooth. But yet, there's enough you, I mean, you feel the bike in your feet, you feel it in your butt, you feel it in the pegs. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, look at this road. Never been out here. I don't know what, I, what I'm going to see. I have no expectations. Oh, uh, this thing may just very well be one of those that might get you in trouble. Just a little bit. So good going down the road. Oh my god, this thing feels good and looks even better. Just so clean and simple is just a Harley, you know. Nothing's there, it doesn't have to be. Go on there, XL 600 r or XR 600 L. I was around back in the days when they called them XLs, now they're XRs. Actually, it's been called that since 1993. But I got a riding buddy now. Heck yeah, man. Man, she just floats at freeway speeds. It's amazing how much this thing cuts the wind compared to the Sportster. Just the bigger bodywork or whatever you want to call it. Man, is this thing amazing. I just love that stone simpleness to it. But yeah, it's got all the high tech stuff, the new Milwaukee 8. Look at that thing, it's so cool looking. That, that satin color, instead of the chrome on the valve cover, well, all the engine covers. Man, it cruises at 80 like it's nothing. Just that typical, very solid, stable feeling you get out of these things. Man, I'm madly in love with this thing. I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but this is my new Fox. It's called, it's part of the Ranger series. And this one's the uh, Utility Hydro Pack large edition waterproof well nothing's totally waterproof I cut the uh, uh, waist straps off and look at this way this thing breathes oh, you don't even know it's on but the waterproofness and then you can buy those small bungees you know and there's hooks all the way through the bag and you can like if you got something too big to fit in your bag you just take those little small bungee nets which I don't have yet those small bungee nets and uh, just put it on there you ever seen the little helmet carrying little bungee nets that unzip out of the bottom of some bags but, uh, anyway I pulled over I know where I'm at and uh, I took the phone and stuff off I just can't get over how godforsaken beautiful this thing is and just the simpleness of it. Just the minimalist look of this thing just has me on cloud nine. I didn't realize I was so close to the road when I pulled over here. 
All right. Man, just crazy how this thing turns. Love it, love it, love it. I just can't believe how it just flows in. No resistance whatsoever. It's almost like it's it's seeing the turn before you are. Wow, is it beautiful? Oh, mama. I cannot believe that single disc has the feel to it that it does. That is absolutely crazy. Yeah, that's nice. That suspension took that up. That should have just seat bounced me. Oh, she feels great. No way. I'm telling you, this thing's going to get you in trouble. Oh, that torque. I can't see the road very good, so I'm afraid of gravel. The light's flickering across my shield at an angle. You gotta have a very good sight of the road. Oh, look at this. Yeah, buddy. Oh, it's so neutral feeling. It feels fantastic. Oh, yeah, Harley. This thing feels so phenomenal. <laughs> oh man, the smartest thing I've ever done. Is that old, oh, the old mill's running again. I see steam coming out of her. Oh man, you're just not getting on it at all. Just a torque just propels you. I just can't believe the way this thing falls in the way it does. There's no way the cruiser's doing this. It's like, I'm on a sport bike or a cruiser. The compression braking is wonderful. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get these brakes seated in right away, right? compression braking when you're riding back roads they just feel so good to roll off and oh processing that coal out there that's a lot of coal wonder how many of them coal cars and them trains we see are coming out of here I love those uh, those spinning shovel things like that this thing I think of going out to the paper mill with my dad it gives me this sinking longing feeling you know I used to think that was so cool to go do that with my dad and he got a you know visitors badge and a and a hard hat felt all important you know, little things when you're a kid, just the simplest things mean a lot. Well, let's go ahead and get the off-roading thing just... Let's just get that done right out of the gate. I'm not sure I'm on the right road here, though. I'm doing everything. Oh, this is it. Uh, somebody honked. here. I don't know if it's one of those engines or something else out there. It was a train. Man, I'm here to tell you. Oh yeah, there it is. The whole set of engines are moving there. Is that considered catching a train?
Norfolk Southern. What the heck is that thing doing way up here? Oh, he's taking that tight route around there too. That's the one where I, the road runs right beside it. Yeah, you let that horn fly, my friend. Oh, it is too. Oh no, that sucks. I could literally be right beside it. That's cool. How about the old creepy alley with the uh, with the slim? I don't think I've ever come backwards through here either. There's be a lot of people coming and going out of that thing because them boards are like well, well worn. Plum run the battery out. <laughs> Feels good in the shade. I don't know. It's only 80 something. 91 it's showing. That's not bad. Then when you get in the shade, man, that's fantastic. It's actually very nice. Just doesn't seem real just yet. <laughs> I love that feeling. When you're just so overwhelmed by something. And what's cool is it's just, it's so simple. But it brings me the greatest pleasure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The way that motor feels. And just this crazy, solid, just overwhelmingly well-built kind of feeling. I don't know how to screw You just need to ride one of these things. You just feel the motor all the time. It doesn't do anything that's uncomfortable. It's actually very, very soothing. It's just so cool to feel something so alive under you, you know? <laughs> Oh, Harley, oh, Harley. This is Lewis and Clark State Park. It feels so good. It's like air conditioning is running back here. Oh, God, that feels good. Maybe I'll just go to the end, turn around, go back up, turn around, come back down, and just keep looping back and forth. Wow, that's almost enough to make you shiver. Man, does that feel good. So, I'm just kind of moseying along here and trying to wrap my head around this thing. If I could sum this thing up, it, it, it's like the first thing that comes to my head. You know, once I settle down over everything and you're just thinking about what you're riding. Sum it up. This is literally the most satisfying motorcycle I have ever ridden in my entire life. And, and I'm not saying that lightly. This thing clicks every box for what I personally think is the perfect motorcycle. The simplicity, the power, the handling, the phenomenal brakes, suspension that you'll never have to touch most satisfying motorcycle I've ever ridden. So I was just thinking, you know, all the years, almost a half a century of riding motorcycles, I was just thinking how, how deep I see things in a motorcycle. I, I you just have, you, you spend your entire life on them, literally your entire life. 
and you just I don't know you you look into their souls for a lack of a better way of explaining it let me know 50 years from now what you see as important in a motor now what I see and what you see is totally different things but the one thing you the thing you lose is it isn't some little crafty rackety thing you know it's the motorcycle's got to speak to you from deep inside it's not because it's the highest tech <laughs> the lightest fastest none of that means nothing literally means nothing not a thing it's how that thing how you and that motorcycle speak to each other what she says to you and when you talk back to her how she responds the most satisfying motorcycle I have ever ridden and let me stress I don't say that lightly with a lot of experience I just the happiest dude on the planet right now sitting on this thing rolling down the road <laughs> well hello there YouTube man did I film a lot on the way back of course you guys seen however it came out by the time you made it here but that's a daunting task that I'm looking at right now I've got everything in in the hopper except for this file so I've been sitting here working on it and she came home here just directly man I'm just so impressed with that thing I just can't believe that I'm as impressed That's as what I am cool. yeah, just to keep the thing that just keeps going through my head is literally I just can't think of a motorcycle I've ever ridden that's just any more satisfying than that it's just like I was saying it just ticks all the boxes you know Got that little rumble. I was telling Kelly, you know, because I spent all that time on the iron on Sunday, at about 60 miles an hour, it, the way the iron feels there, that kind of feels like that. There's no no shake, no buzz, but you just feel this, like, aliveness underneath you. This nice rumble. Yeah. With it sitting there in the shop next to the iron, it just looks like a great big iron almost, which is perfect. Yeah. It is pretty. Yeah. She even sat on it, stood it up. She can flat foot with her knees way bent. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, height-wise, that thing's... Fits perfect. Yeah. And she can pick it right up off the stand. It's only 95 pounds heavier than her 48, and it carries it low. You can ride yeah. it. And, you know, everything's a little more refined than it is on the 48. She could ride that actually easier. So, um, if she gets back into wanting to ride, she can ride the... Soft tail slim as well. Yeah. Anyway, let's make this short because I've got a whole bunch to do. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Heck yeah. Can't wait till the weekend. So I'll go out and go play around on it. Some oh, more. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys very much for coming along for the journey and swap out. Yes. Many, many rides going to come from that thing. Mm-hmm. All right. You guys take care. <laughs> Thanks now. Bye-bye.